Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is your first time coming across my channel, then welcome. Come on in, tell a friend, like, share, maybe decide to subscribe. Maybe you'll get some tarot ASMR in the interim, or maybe you won't. It just kind of depends on the way things flow. Nevertheless, I'm really glad to see you. I hope that you get the information by way of truth and clarity that you are looking for. And what does not belong to you, my best recommendation is to absolutely just leave it for somebody else to take or just see it as entertainment purposes at this point. Our awakening is what it is. A lot of these readings are just confirmation for what it is that you already know you know. You just needed a little bit more in addition to what your intuitive nudge was nudging you about. But welcome. Whatever you decide to do, just know I support you in the energy. You're returning back to the channel. Guess what? You already know that you know you know I love you so freaking much. Maybe you are standing up or sitting down or taking a nice spiritual cleansing bath. By way of listening to Tarot ASMR, maybe you got this on your surround sound. It's better when it's in your car, but don't fall asleep in your car, okay? Maybe you're just sitting there and sitting still because Tarot ASMR is very relaxing, especially when we find out the truth. No matter what the messages are, going with the flow, listening to the flow of the cards, right? The sounds are so relaxing. It's well-rounded. You know that you're with your soul tribe. You know you're somewhere enjoying this. Maybe you're listening to this while you're on the beach. Maybe you're by the pool. Maybe you're having a taco taro party <laughs> and you're watching this on your flat screen TV. How amazing is that? I can see that. That's so good. I love you so tribe. Listen. So tribe, so tribe, so tribe, so tribe, love and light, my beautiful soul, tribe. Freaking love you, Soul Tribe. Thank you for being so beautiful. I can see your light. I can see that you can see clearly now that all the rain is gone. The planets are getting into alignment, and so are we. This is so much fun. Listen, let me just tell you something. The shift is not for everybody, but I'm glad that the everybody's are us and we're somebody's. And we are in alignment with this beautiful shift into love and light. Having mastered those Mercury retrograde energies. Let's just see what the current energy is. Holy spirits, beautiful divine beings of the highest realms and white light. Look at them ten of pentacles. Child, you better wait on it. Listen, you better wait on it. The valley in the shadows of death, it used to be hidden, but this is about awakening. The moon is absolutely helping us on the planet by way of balancing out our energies. What is it that we need to know by way of current energy for the beautiful divine collective? What is it that somebody needs to know? Maybe somebody needs a reading. Maybe there's somebody somewhere or more than one person who needs confirmation. Something that's going to help you move forward. Temperance. Okay. So temperance represents pulling back. Balance. Being wise, knowing when to pull back, when to push forward, when to pull back, when to push forward, when to surrender, when to go with the flow. Temperance. Temperance by way of the Zodiac is always going to be Sagittarius, Archangel Michael. So this is about knowing how to pick and choose your battles, I just heard. Okay, listen. The wand represents fire. This is control of the fire, control of wars, control of battles. Picking and choosing your passions as opposed to picking and choosing your poisons. Okay, thank you, spirit. Wow, come through, clear audience. Ace of Wands and Temperance, what is it that we need to know? Beautiful light beings, beautiful ascended masters. Thank you. This is about what we do in the world. Toil and labor, earth energy, Virgo energy, working. Ace of Wands, new beginning, new business, temperance, knowing when to pull back. 
when to push forward. Watching where your energy goes, okay? The hangman represents Piscean energy, but it also represents seeing things from a new perspective, okay? So somebody needs to understand you got to see something from a new perspective. The universe and or your divine spirit team is calling for you to go within and to purify your energy. Virgo energy with temperance represents pulling back, balancing out, going within, and then deciding what it is that you're manifesting outside of you by way of how you feel. But temperance is about uh, healthy restraints is what it is. Yeah. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck represents the Aquarian energy, Gemini energy, Libra energy about balancing out your physical and or your spiritual nature. Eight of Pentacles represents what are you working on, okay? So let's just see. Somebody needs to know this in the Divine Collective. Yeah, close that door. Yeah, whatever this is, okay? Seven of Swords, whatever that is, it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, listen. Empress Energy, Divine Feminine Energy, okay? And also with the King of Swords, it gives me a reminder to balance out feminine energy and masculine energy. Making sure that there's an equilibrium balance, uh, you know, a 50-50 in that, right? Whole and making up 100% of who you are, not too much of one or the other. Yeah, listen, this is what's creating this 10 of cups, okay? So somebody needs confirmation, clarify, divine collective. What is it that we need to know? Now, there are some people that are watching this, okay? They are, listen, this is a very powerful moment, listen. One has to be very mindful of the choices that they make. Again, are you picking and choosing your poisons? Are you picking and choosing your battles? Listen, get a little tarot ASMR, maybe take a deep breath. Two of Swords represents choices, decisions. Something needs to be decided on and it needs to be done now, today, right now. Make that decision. You've already made it. Whatever decision you're going to make, you've already made. So now it's just about going with the flow. The Chariot is about forward movement. Cancerian energy, the moon's energy, transmuting energy, emotionally stable, willpower, but strength and power by way of going within. Remember, strength represents Leo energy. Leo represents the heart, child. Two of swords represents Libra energy, the chariot. So something about the heart, emotions, uh, purification, knowing when to pull back, when to start a new, when to end something, but making sure that you see something from a new perspective it's not all that bad. It's all good, actually. The hangman is Piscean energy. You know, Piscean energy uh, sometimes, when not balanced out properly, will see what it wants to see because that's what it wants to see. So listen, you understand that judgment is something that's vital. Judgment has to do with you judging your own uh, uh, decisions to this point because that's the only thing that's going to get you to this next level. Who needs to hear this? Clarify, please, and thank you. Okay, so somebody's wondering what's going on. Yeah, listen, somebody could be wondering about uh, people that are still doing spell work. Are they still doing spell work? What's going to happen to them? Yes, they are. They are stuck in a certain illusion. So let them stay there. Okay, some of them are watching and they're still not grasping the concept of what we're talking about here. Like they're just not awakened. Okay, and that's just what it is. Maybe that was their destiny. Maybe that's what they manifested. I don't know. Okay, but whatever it is. It's a whole new world by way of what you're doing. Are the people behind you weighed down? Yes, they are, okay? So a lot of stars being born in the public eye. A lot of you are going to be seen all over the world for your beautiful uh, bodies of work I just heard, okay? Shout out to the people that study numerology. There's a place for you. There are people that need to understand numerology. Shout out to the people that are Reiki healers. There are people that are going to need you, okay? There are places that have already been prepared for you by way of healing. This is that star quality, Age of Aquarius energy. This is what Age of Aquarius was about. Age of Aquarius is Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini air energy, communication. Now, oftentimes when we think of the Aquarian age, we think of uh, just Aquarius by itself. No, with that, I would love to include the air qualities of Gemini, Mercury retrograde. Again, we've had enough shadows up until this point. For you to know what it is you need to do. Spirit says you better wake up. The alignment is here. Listen, Empress Energy, this is about self-love. Self-love, going within, loving self. There's a lot of people that are weighed down. I'm going to be honest because of that doppelganger energy, because of that destiny swap stuff, beauty spells. Their stuff is, is done, honey. Whoever is still concerned about this, even though these readings still come out, just know that they're done. Ten of Wands, they're weighed down. 
because you're in a very authentic energy. The biggest trick that somebody ever pulled was pulling your attention to somebody else that wanted your destiny. It could have never happened. So if that's the dream that they want to fall for, that is now appearing to be a nightmare of knowing that they're not you, then let them. Okay? Those old narratives have to die, honey. You're too authentic. We're evolving too fast. Honestly, y'all, we're creating new fabrics and timelines so quickly that I, if somebody was trying to copy us, child, they're struggling. They're struggling. <laughs> somebody can't write fast enough to copy this authentic energy. Yeah, listen, whatever it is, they're trying to still pull people back to the past and trying to say, okay, well, what did we do 10 years ago? That worked. Well, y'all stay y'all ass back there 10 years ago trying to figure that out. And this is why you looking like this with your carbon copy, you know, counterfeit cloned asses. Yeah, you've been written out of reality, child. Okay, and again, some of these people were riding on your energy for so long they don't know who they are. It's dangerous, okay? Inevitably, this is a dead energy. It's done. Listen, six of pentacles is equal give and take. Energy, earth energy, the emperor energy. These are the new leaders. These are the new stars. Uh, these are the new people that are coming teachers. People that are coming to better the world, literally, okay? Now, is this something that has never been thought of? No. Has this happened before? Yes, we've had great, amazing life coaches and motivational speakers and Florence Scovel, Shin, The Game of Life and Louise Hay are some of my favorites. There's others, there's so many others, but guess what? It's your turn now. It's my turn. Hi. They were the ones that came to set that, that foundation. They did the groundwork, right? They got you on your way. They got you onto the bike. They were the training wheels. Every teacher that you've had up until this point, be a good, bad, or different, being a mother, a father, a karmic, whatever, they were your teacher. Inevitably, your enemy has been your best teacher. So now that the training wheels are coming off, remember, some of them needed you to always be in that slave master energy, and you're not. And now you're setting yourself free, and now they're jumping in their cars, riding around, child. They don't know. They're in a state of confusion. They're in that cycle of confusion that they thought they had created for you. A whirlwind of knowing nothing, going nowhere, no time soon. It's a dead cycle, y'all. It's over. Nine of Cups. Now, look, this does not mean that people are not going to try to come in and try to befriend us and, or offer us some type of, you know, uh, atonement <laughs> by... By way of, uh, how do you say, reconciliation. The lovers, yeah, this does not mean that. They love us. They love the way we love. That's what it is. They love the way we love. They love the way we love. They love the way we continue to love even after everything that we had gone through told us not to. Look at this. The lovers, the fool, taking a leap of faith. That's us and the high priestess listening to our intuition, loving on self, Gemini energy. Now look at the way all of the air energies are here the star aquarius energy the lovers gemini energy mercury re retrograde what are you commuting to the atmosphere what are you communicating to the atmosphere what are you commuting right what are you sending out commuting what's moving through the atmosphere by way of you energetically this is what's going to tell you what your downloads are the fool is gemini energy taking a leap of faith the star quality this is a whole new world a new life the high priestess energy is psyche, Piscean energy, dream state, seeing things, dreaming with your eyes wide open, but understanding that you're more awakened in the dream state when the physical body is resting, or so says the Indians, or something like that. The Indians said that. I heard somebody say that. Listen, a long time ago, shout out to that teacher. You are the alchemist. Congratulations. Listen, the star, the high priestess, the lovers, Gemini energy is not playing. Hi there, Gemini. Gemini's out here. Gemini, listen. Gemini and Aquarius. Libra. Stop playing with the air signs, okay? Just knock it off, okay? Okay? I'm going to need you to stop playing. Water. Water. Aquarius is the water bearer. You see the way... She's bringing life to everybody. He's bringing life. Could be a he, but in this particular depiction, it's a really nice little paisley. 
I was going to say, not Paisley. What is it called? She's a nice, cute little ca Caucasian lady. But she's giving life, okay? You get my drift, okay? Listen, this could be anybody. This could be a guy. This could be a lady. This could be an Asiatic black woman. Nevertheless, it's about the picture and what it means. You see the way there's stars in the water. There's life in the water. And she's bringing life by way of inspiration, love, and kindness, by way of awakening, she is the water bearer. She is the one that carries life. Let's get into the reading. One more card, and then we're going to go to the next reading. These are really going to be short readings that y'all can just kind of flip through real quick. Listen, pick and choose your battles. Pick and choose your poisons. These people thought that, you know, keeping you engaged and or distracted by what it was that you were doing in life was going to work. It's not. They didn't pick and choose their poison. Somebody picked poison over passion and somebody wanted a slave. And so they wanted to control you. They wanted to stop you from seeing your inner world by way of your outer world. And here you are saying the inside of me is, is aligned with all great things and infinite possibilities. You're connected to the higher realms. This shit is so far away from us that it is not even funny. It's so disconnected. Now, here's the gag. They're the last to know. And that has nothing to do with us. They're the, did I not just say... Did I not just say they're the last to know? The tower. To be continued. This is the reading. I will see you in the next reading. So I'm going to be doing a whole bu a bunch of these readings, right? Meaning they're short readings, immediate readings, Tapped into these realms, y'all, is a blessing. I have to use it for something that it's good for. Not to say that the previous readings were not, but Dark Knight of the Soul is dead. Okay, so come on in. Get to the spiritual work. Let's be about it. What, what now? What now that you have the victory? What now that these beautiful high realms are celebrating you? They're waiting for you. They're connected to you. You're tapped all the way in. You know what's going to happen before it happens. And you can see it. You told somebody the tower was coming before it came. And child, they didn't even see it. Okay. Well, listen, I love y'all. This is the message. If it resonated with you, then this was your reading. 1707. Very, very lucky. Lucky, lucky. Lucky, lucky number. Pay attention to the synchronicities. Come on and get to that spiritual work. Let's get into it. I love y'all so much. I'll absolutely see you soon in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.